Today, Kung Fu thieves are attacking Mabel. At that moment, Alia, the karate master, arrives there and saves Mayhul. Suddenly, Alia wakes up from her sleep. Oh, it is just a dream. Alia hears footsteps on the roof, and she trembles. It seems like there's a ghost in the house. What will happen to me now? Alia quickly silences her phone. If the ghost hears my phone ring, then... Alia immediately sends a WhatsApp message to Mayhul, but it shows only one tick, meaning Mayhul is still asleep. Alia is about to call Mayhul when suddenly her mood changes. Oh buddy, I can handle these little ghosts myself. She grabs a stick and a torch and heads to the roof. It is a dark night, and darkness surrounds her. But there is no one there. Alia is very scared. Is there no one here? It seems like the ghost ran away after seeing me. Suddenly. Ghost! Ghost! Help! But there is no ghost, only a cat. Alia gets very angry at the cat and starts hitting it with her slipper. The cat runs away. And Alia calms down. Alia notices something on the rooftop floor with her torch. She sees shoe marks on the floor. Seeing the shoe marks, Alia has some doubts. Can you tell what Alia thinks about those shoe marks, and how many people are there in total based on these marks? Pay close attention to the shoe marks. Three different shoe marks are visible, meaning there were a total of three people, and one shoe's mark is half, indicating that one person was limping. Alia can't understand who could have come to her roof so late at night. Oh god, is someone spying on me? I'm also a karate black belt. Let them come, I'll take care of them one by one. Alia goes to her bedroom, locks all the windows and doors, and goes to sleep. In the morning, Mayhul wakes up and checks his phone, finding a video sent by his confidential informant. In the video, two thieves are stealing money from a man, but suddenly, four to five more people arrive there. However, the thieves beat them all using kung fu style. Are these thieves or karate specialists? After that Mayhul notices Alia's message. Mayhul immediately calls Alia, but Alia doesn't answer the call. Alia isn't receiving the call, something might be wrong. Alia had locked her door from the inside. Mayhul knocks on the door several times, but Alia doesn't open it. Mayhul becomes very worried, and in a hurry, picks up a flower pot and breaks the window glass to enter. Inside, Alia was sleeping with headphones in her ears. Oh god this girl, she scared me for sure. Before Mayhul wakes Alia up, he receives a call from Sam the diamond merchant, who informs him that there was a theft at his house last night. Let Alia sleep, we need to solve this case immediately. Mayhul quickly heads towards Sam's house in his car. Mayhul reaches Sam's location, but he is confused about which house could be Sam's. Can you tell which house might belong to Sam? Let me know your answer in the comments. Look carefully outside the first house. There are many crates of vegetables, indicating that these people sell vegetables. Additionally, the condition of the third house seems to be in poor shape. But Sam is a diamond merchant, so he must be quite wealthy. Mayhul knocks on the door of the second house, and Sam comes out. Sir, I am ruined. Someone has stolen all my diamonds. Hey Sam, how much loot do you think was taken in the theft? Sir, two crores. Interesting, very, very interesting. This matter looks quite serious. Sam had CCTV cameras outside his house. Mayhul and Sam start checking the CCTV footage. At around 2 a.m., five thieves enter Sam's house, jumping and hopping. Sir, are they thieves or monkeys? These are the same thieves I saw in the video on my phone this morning. How did Mayhul figure out that these are the same thieves with kung fu skills? Let me know your answer in the comments. Pay close attention. The last thief in the video is wearing the same bracelet that Mayhul saw in the morning video. Mayhul reaches the address of the bank, but instead of one, there are two banks located there. However, Mayhul figures out which bank is being robbed. Can you tell which bank is being robbed? 
Let me know your answer in the comments. The security guard of the second bank is sitting outside and eating, which means everything is fine inside that bank. This indicates that the theft is happening inside the first bank. Mayhul starts planning to enter the first bank. There were three windows at the back of the bank, two were closed, but one was open. Mayhul uses a rope to enter the bank. Upon seeing the thieves, Mayhul has a doubt. What did he see in the thieves that made him suspicious? Can you tell what Mayhul saw in the thieves that raised his suspicion? None of the thieves have a gun or a knife. These thieves seem quite advanced. They've entered the bank without weapons. The thieves start leaving with the money. I need to do something. As the bag falls, all the thieves turn around to look. Suddenly, one of the thieves, skilled in kung fu, lands a powerful punch on Mayhul, sending him flying through the air, and he crashes into a wall. Before Mayhul can react, a kung fu expert from the group takes out many knives from his jacket and starts throwing them one by one at Mayhul. Mayhul tries to move left to save himself, but one knife hits his left side. He quickly shifts to the right, but another knife hits his right side. Within moments, all the knives have struck Mayhul all over his body. As soon as Mayhul opens his eyes, all the thieves have already left the scene. These thieves are very talented, but they're using their skills wrongly. I'm glad I was wearing a stab protection jacket inside. It saved me from knives today. Mayhul immediately goes outside the bank and looks around, but there's no one there. However, Mayhul realizes which way the thieves went. Can you tell which way the thieves went? On the left side of the road, there's a truck parked between the lanes, making it impossible to go that way. On the right side, there are many cows standing. But on the right side of the road, dust is flying up. This means the thieves have fled with their vehicle through this route. Mayhul takes his car and heads in that direction. Mayhul drives at full speed. These thieves are nowhere to be seen. Mayhul stops his car near a bridge in the jungle. Can you tell why Mayhul parked his car near the bridge? Think about it and let me know your answer in the comments. Big waves are forming under the bridge in the water. This means something has fallen into the water just now. Mayhul quickly gets out of his car and checks. There must be something wrong. I need to go inside the water and see. Mayhul immediately takes out a long rope from his car. Mayhul ties one end of the rope to the bridge and the other end around his waist. He jumps into the water. However, someone in the police cuts the rope tied to the bridge. Mayhul looks up in the air, and on the bridge, all the kung fu thieves are still standing. But, coincidentally, Alia arrives there. Alia had gone to the same bank to withdraw money where there had been a fight between Mayhul and the kung fu gang. The bank manager explains everything to Alia. Alia was trying to follow Mayhul's car. Oh, Mayhul sir's car. Finally, I've found Mayhul sir. Alia reaches Mayhul's car, but the same thieves are standing there. Dealing with thieves like you is something I'm good at. Alia takes off her helmet and kicks it towards the thieves with force. 
The helmet heads towards the thieves at a high speed. But what's this? A thief, in midair, flips upside down and kicks the helmet like a football making it collide with Alia's helmet. It shatters into pieces upon impact. Alia is shocked, but she's also a karate specialist. She takes a deep breath and starts running towards the thieves. Alia kicks one thief, breaking his leg, and twists another thief's neck. I wasn't hitting you thinking you're a girl, but now... However, Alia stands in a reverse style and resumes the fight. Alia fights until she's exhausted, and the thieves flee with the money bags. They ran away, otherwise, I would have dealt with each one of them. Alia looks down from the bridge, and the ground beneath her feet slips. Can you tell what Alia saw that scared her? Share your answer in the comments. Look closely, there's blood in the water. Could it be Mayhul, sir? No, no, that can't be. Alia immediately goes below the bridge through the rocky path and enters the water. Underwater, Alia sees Mayhul's cap among the rocks. Alia's breath starts to quicken, so she surfaces. Alia goes underwater again. Suddenly, she spots Mayhul. There was blood coming from Mayhul's head, and he was unconscious. Alia immediately lifts Mayhul and brings him out of the water. Mayhul, sir, what happened to you? Open your eyes, Mayhul, sir. But Mayhul doesn't open his eyes. Alia starts crying and calls for an air ambulance. Mayhul undergoes emergency surgery. The operation is successful, and Mayhul's life is saved. Alia, where is Dr. Sunjana? Alia tells Mayhul that Dr. Sunjana got injured in last attack. Her face was completely burned, so she went to London for surgery. As soon as this case is solved, I will go meet Dr. Sunjana. But first, I need to learn karate so that I can teach those thieves a lesson. Sir, first you get well. We can learn everything. Mayhul stays in the hospital for two whole months. When Mayhul returns home, Alia tells him that Kung Fu thieves are causing terror in the city. They are committing robberies everywhere and beating people severely. The police are unable to catch them. After learning karate, I will give them a good thrashing. Mayhul and Alia set off for training in Assam. His training begins the next day. Initially, Mayhul practices with Alia. Within just 10 days, there is significant improvement in Mayhul's training. Mayhul practices by hitting pads and gradually starts breaking them with his punches. One month passes while training. By now, Mayhul has become quite proficient in karate. One day, a mysterious video arrives on Mayhul's phone. The video was locked with a password. Can you tell which number will come in place of the question mark by looking at this equation? Quickly share your answer by commenting. First and third numbers are either added or the second number is doubled. Like this, 9 plus 7 equals 16, and double of the second number, which is 8, is also 16. Similarly, 7 plus 5 is equal to 12, and double of the second number is also 12. And 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, and double of the second number, which is 2, is also 4. Mayhul presses 4 on his phone, and the video starts playing. In the video, Ku and Fu gang members are robbing a diamond shop. When the shop manager tries to stop them, one of the gang members starts attacking the manager in Kung Fu style. This makes Mayhul very angry. Just a few more days, and I'll teach these thieves a lesson they'll never forget, not just about stealing, but even the fear of it. Mayhul puts his mobile in his bag and heads straight to the practice ring. Oh my god, Mayhul sir is practicing very dangerously. Mayhul puts on boxing gloves and starts boxing with full aggression. After a while, Alia approaches with a bottle of water. What's the matter sir? You seem troubled today. The Kung Fu gang thieves have created chaos in the city. I'm very angry. Even the police are helpless.
Meanwhile, there was a continuous rise in crime in the city, and the newspapers were full of news about Mayhul. Since Mayhul left the city, the crime rate had increased several times, and everyone was asking about Mayhul. On the other hand, the Kung Fu gang thieves were planning to rob a jewelry shop this time. They enter the jewelry shop, and one of the Kung Fu thieves kicks the manager there with great force. How's it going, folks? Oh, Mayhul, I think you are dead. Mayhul ties up all the thieves with a rope and hands them over to the police. Case solved, Detective Mayhul rocks. 